Okay. Three people. Uh, doesn't look like anybody is hanging around the orphanage, which is good. Protect Buying yourself and right. Buying Buy armor from here. Yes, it seems like everybody is, uh... Let us see. Mercy! Oh. Hello! I... Uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, they say the criminal always, always returns to the scene of the crime, so perhaps they test should not be seen around the orphanage for a while. Yes. Now, where are we going? Um, the pond prawn, yes, and the bunkhouse, and the bee and barb, yes. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? Uh, now that you mention it, they test is feeling a bit achy, but uh, she sort of thought that was just the weather, to be honest. It is. It's rather damp in Riften. Where are we going? Let us go. Let us go down around this way, just so that the guards don't see us too much. Yes. I'm sure they will take notice. Looking to stay alive. If we are running around up on the uh, the top level, yes. Oh, the apothecary is down here. Who has an apothecary down next to the water? That is amusing. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Okay, good to know. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Ah, uh, I see. Um, what have you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I am indeed. I am something of an alchemist myself. Uh. And I appear to have caught something. This one does not know what. You have your hands full, no? I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. <laughs> How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. Oh, that is not very far, yes. Garjit could do it for you. That's just up the road, right? You would. Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. Okay, this one can do that, yes. Uh, does it not bother you that you live underground? Zaytest finds it a bit, uh... Lammy. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyache just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. I see. Well, it is a good thing you are both alchemists then. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. Oh no, this one knows. <laughs> she ran into a couple of wolves and skeevers on the way down from there. Ah, that feels much better. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's stone? I've just, I've not even yet. I've not even left the shop. Ugh, Nords are so impatient. They need to learn how to sit still for a moment or two. Which is ironic, coming from Mikajit as myself. But even this one knows when to stalk her prey, yeah? Uh, where are we going? Oh. The wrong There's way. There's a foul presence coming from Darklight Tower, southwest of the city. Some say okay. the place is home to necromancers. Sorry, my bow keeps hitting the sign. <laughs> uh, that's a bit rude of me. What? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hello. So, can I interest you in anything today? I actually have a message from Brynjolf. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Uh, Brynjolf wishes to inform you that he cannot protect those who refuse to pay. You know, that whole thing. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. 
You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves. Ah. Uh, the guild is more than capable of protecting itself. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. The time for talk is over. There are other ways to make you pay, no? Would you fight a tiny Khajiit like me? I'm going to make you sorry for this. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Let us put on our punching gloves, yes. Get on. All right. Come on. Come on. Give me your best. Not so Come on. I am just a sooth. I'm sure you fought bigger. Don't let her get away with this. <laughs> you are not so tough, Mr. Percy Honeyhand. Yes. You're not. Please. You really no are not. I'll pay. I'll pay. Uh, here. You barely scratched, Khajiit. But thank you for the money. We will have no more trouble, no? <laughs> you should be lucky I did not smash his urn. Okay. Uh... Next is... Where is the bunkhouse? Because this one does not want to... Get on Kirava's bad side quite that way. This one likes Kirava. She is a... Uh, she is a very, um... The Thieves Guild used to run this city. Now they're nothing but braggarts and bullies. Rotting <laughs> to death down in their rat way. Well, I do suppose I am being a bit of a bully, aren't I? Hello, Helga. If you're... What did you want? I have a message from Brynjolf. Something about money and not being... What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Uh, an odd proverb? Um, Khajiit regrets that money is no longer the problem. You understand, yes? Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. Which means you do have the money. Unfortunately... We have run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Khajiit scares no one with her tough talk, but that is okay. Khajiit is very sneaky and she has other ways, yes? Hmm. But you do have the coin, you just mentioned tossing it down a well. Ah. So, um, you know that statue, yeah? Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Well, it would be a shame if this statue were accidentally dropped down a well, no? Just like the one you're threatening to throw your money into? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Eh. <laughs> Khajiit is more likely to get a hairball than choke on gold, but that is okay. Well, what is this? Uh, okay, nope, we are not going to read that. Uh, have a good day, Miss Elga. Who was this? A trout. Probably whoever runs the fishery, yeah? yeah? That would be good to know just in case I need to blackmail her again. Oh. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, this one thought you were someone else for two seconds. Oh. I thought that was red. Hehe. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, come on. I seem to be, I seem to have my, my boots stuck in the pier. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Let's make sure our boots don't get stuck like that again. Yes. Now, Kirava, yes? Okay. Ooh. Who is this man? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Oh! Ah, uh, this one happens to be good at delivering messages. What kind is it? Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. 
Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. Oh. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Uh, sounds easy enough. Count this one in, yes? This one doesn't usually work with horses, but, uh... Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Uh, this one can do that, but, um... Kajita, why is Sibby in jail? This is a question that I need to ask. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. <laughs> the old lady. <laughs> uh, alright. I'll meet you outside of town. You might want to keep your voice down, just saying. Yeah. What's your problem? N nothing. Yes. I'd start to talk to, uh, this kind of lady right here. Hello, Kadava. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Actually, what do you have for sale? Let's say that appetite, hmm? Let's see. Uh, perhaps we can soften her up by buying a few things. Ah, that way at least we have a reason for being in here, other than bribery, yeah? Blackmailing. What not? This one will always take fish. Ooh, mud crab. This one does prefer a bit of mud crab. Okay. Uh, cause she regrets that she brings a message from Brynjolf. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. <laughs> You tell him I'm sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. This one would have loved to be a fly on that wall. This one likes you, Kirava. Oh, oh, what is this? You don't mind if I read this, no? My friend, I am willing to pay what I owe. Find me in the rift in jail. I will be waiting. Inigo? What is Inigo doing in the jail? Well, that explains why I have not seen him around town. This note is obviously meant for me, but... Yeah? Um, okay. <coughs> Alright. Um, well, I am going down there anyway, am I not? Because of CV? Um... Is this one ready to face Inigo yet? I to stay alive. Is Why he in the jail because he is the one Beautiful who Beautiful baubles and gleaming uh, gemstones over here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. This one needs to think. This one needs to think. Think quickly, they test. Think quickly, they test. All right. Well, apparently we're going to the jail anyway. Okay. Oh, deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get too mad at about uh, about me being in here. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Oh, trust me, this one has official business. <laughs> uh, Zaytest has permission to be here. It is okay. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry. You can go on ahead. Uh, perhaps I should have taken that note just so that I could show him. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, what is this? Read all of the notes. Important. The crazy Khajiit in cell one is not to be disturbed. He paid us good money for that cage, so don't go bothering him. If he's still here in a month, I think we should enforce a little rent increase. I doubt we'll get the chance, though. You've all seen the way he looks. Won't be surprised if he tries to end... His life soon. If you see him in a particularly suicidal mood, get in there and stop him. He has been using the key we gave him, so if you need in there in a hurry, he's despair in the broken strong box above the fireplace. A dead man can pay rent. Warden Norton. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. Just because I'm in a cage doesn't mean you have to stay in yours, Mr. Dragonfly. 
Okay. Okay, let us go get the key. And then we can talk to him. Then we can talk to him. Oh, Rajin. Okay. Uh, this is the most finicky strong box Khajiit has ever seen. There we go. It was stuck to itself. Okay. Ooh. Uh, why not? He <laughs> just in case. Okay. Uh, wonder if he has anything in here. Nope. He must have been the one who shot the test. He must have. Otherwise, he would not be in here, and he would not have gotten the reward from, from Dupont. That was a lot of gold. And he just spent it to get himself in a cell. If it's a bed you need, talk to Kiraba in the B and Bar. Well, I've talked to her today. It's fine. You right. What are you doing in here? Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. Excuse me? What do you mean? What guilt? I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. Okay, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about anymore, Inigo. What is going on? You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. You didn't do a very good job, did you? Why did you put yourself in here? I assume you put yourself in here. Why are you in here? After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. <sighs> if you thought I was dead, then why were you in here waiting for me? That just makes no sense. Although my body was gone, I suppose. Which begs more questions. Does it not? I heard tales of a remarkable adventurer, both brave and resourceful, matching your description. I knew it was you. It had to be. I knew you would be coming for me, so I waited. Are you going to kill me or not? Ah. <sighs> Look. This one does not remember much, but it is clear that you owe the test. How about we start traveling again and you may prove your worth? Yes? This one does not fare well alone. I fight with you? Yes, Indigo. Because, you know, that used to be your thing. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this opportunity. It will be like old times. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. Uh, try to not put it in at me. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. Okay. Well. <sighs> Let us get your things together, yes?